Go. We started off this season by having a Scuba Not International member talk to us about a few problems they and their partnering organizations face with ocean exploration. Each team member contributed to our Microsoft Whiteboard site, brainstorming ideas for potential research problems. We went around the room and each team member spoke about the issue and why they liked the topic. We had two of our team members stick hoping to research three of the ideas that seemed most impactful to ocean exploration, and then our team voted on our official research topic. The problem we chose to solve was coral bleaching, so we set out to find a solution to help prevent coral bleaching. We researched different, we researched what coral bleaching is and prevention methods, and then we consulted the experts Katie Cooper, the CEO of Scuba Not International, who validated its significance, Shannon Dixon, a PhD biology student at the University of Ohio, who gave us detailed information on how shading prevents bleaching, and Bryce Schaefer, an aerospace engineer who refined our ROV and shading device designs. The NOAA talk provided to first teams inspired us to incorporate AI in our design. The problem we are addressing is coral death due to coral bleaching. Coral bleaching occurs when coral rejects the symbiotic algae they are relying for survival due to temperature changes, pH levels, and UV rays. Coral is a keystone species, meaning if it didn't exist, 25% of all ocean habitats would disappear, ecosystems would be disrupted, the fishing industry would suffer, and coasts would be eroded. Our solution to this problem is the creation of an ROV that can work alongside multiple large shading devices that migrate over large coral reefs to shade large pieces of coral. In Keiwatone Street specifically, we estimate that it will take about 3,000 shading devices that are 30 feet by 30 feet to cover the whole reef over a 12 hour period, with each chunk being shaded for about 3 hours. We estimate that we're going to start with about 100 shading devices and 25 ROVs. These ROVs could be automated or manual, requiring a controller depending on the circumstance. We created a DIY ROV using PVC piping. The ROV has motors for back and forth for vertical movement, cameras for AI integration, and a box in the back for weight distribution and electronics. The PVC pipes carry the wiring needed. Additionally, in Blender, we rendered a rough design of the shading device and ROV, and then animated those devices as needed. Here it is in action. The ROV and shading device will stay in the water, facing wherever. To prevent this, we'll use high quality components, protective materials, and sensors to monitor issues like overheating. If a problem is detected, a, G a GPS can guide a, a technician for repairs. The ROV and shading device will come in three different sizes, 7.5 feet, 15 feet, and 30 feet, for flexibility across different reef conditions. The estimated grand total for the ROV is about $4,000 and $4,000 per shading device. The estimated power consumption of the ROV is about 2,900 watts every 12 hours, which is how long it would be operating in full before going in battery sitting mode for the night and the shading device taking up about 3,750 watts every 12 hours. Our project is able to make up about 6,600 watts of power, assuming it is a sunny day for all 12 hours. To identify coral, we use LLP5, which is an AI trained to identify objects and images. And in our case, it will help us identify coral and assess our health. The current version is free, but a new version is coming out soon, which will have to evaluate the cost of, as it has lots of features that are gonna be important for us. We're also currently looking at a photo of Vicks as we plan to show the long-term transformation with the reef using such photos. To fund this project, we are contacted organizations like SeaWorld, Clearwater Marine Aquarium, and Tampa Aquarium. We also plan to apply for grants by showing a video demo, detailed models, and project plans to potential sponsors. The project's focus will be on its environmental benefits and long-term impacts. We plan to start this project in Keyworth on the Reef which is, a reef, which is a secluded reef off the coast of Puerto Rico. It is perfect for our pilot project due to minimal human interference, significant sun, and an existing bleaching problem. To prevent motor damage in busier areas, we will use reflective materials and issue warnings via mobile apps and radios. The device will also have cameras to identify violators and charge fines. To prevent severe storm damage, the ROV and shading devices can relocate. Thank you for listening. Any questions?